it's September 30th. Welcome to this new nighttime edition of the news. Sports dominates the news today, and we'll be telling a story or two. For Miss Lawler's second period, I'm Daniel Caffrey. And I'm Katie Bigham. The girls' golf team is tearing up the turf this week. At Quail Hollow against Lando Lakes High on Tuesday, Meredith Sohn scored a 50. Stephanie Shapiro came in with a 52. Megan Boats was third with a 57. Aaron McGrail shot a 59. Kristen Howell scored 61. And Michelle Dollard, not failing up to par, still came in with a 65. The team beat Lando Lakes by eight shots. At the links, the ladies remain undefeated, once again defeated Ridgewood, yesterday by 17 strokes. Most came in with spectacular scores, including Meredith Stones with 50 again, Tara Pickens, known as Slim to her coach, scored a 54, Stephanie Shapiro had a 57, and Kristen Howell shot a 59. Congratulations once again to the ladies who showed everyone they were up to par and more. The golf team would love to see you quietly cheering for them Thursday, which is today, as they take on Hudson High at Meadow Oaks. Their excellence on the green should make exciting fodder for storytelling. Perhaps you'll want to perform like the students in Ms. Henderson's English class. Do you know as much about folk tales as Miss Korea does? My great-grandmother told me a story about this nice tree with all this delicious fruit, and the only way you could get to the fruit was to know the name of the tree. Will you please tell me the name of the tree? Well, Lionel was outraged, and he shouted at Tortoise. I already told Gazelle and Elephant the name of the tree, Lagoon Valley, and I will not tell you the name of the tree. On September 17th, Mrs. Correa, the Youth Services Coordinator of Hudson Public Library, came to talk to Miss Henderson's students about folk tales. Miss Correa has been storytelling for four years. And though she generally goes to elementary schools, she came to River Ridge at Miss Henderson's request. Miss Henderson's students who have been studying the Odyssey will now go with their newfound skills of folk tales to teach the middle schoolers what they have learned. Mrs. Correa explains the importance of picking a story you enjoy and how you tell that story. She also gave a few tips on storytelling and let us in on some of the tricks of the trade. And pull, and pull, and pull. <laughs> you are old and weak. You definitely need some help. Nicole held on to his waist, and Julie held on to Nicole's waist. Julie's waist, and together they pull, and pull, and pull. And the other said, "Well, he's so tiny. How can he help us pull up this turnip?" And together they pull, and pull, and pull. Miss Macero and Miss Roll are looking for a few good women to play powder puff and a few good men to be cheerleaders. If you feel like charging into people or getting people charged up and you are a junior class of 2001, meet in Miss Roll's room Friday, tomorrow at 210. If you are a sophomore class of 2002, meet in Miss Macero's room Monday, October 4th for a mandatory meeting at 3 p.m. Be sure to arrange for transportation home. If you are the more scholarly type, October 12th is the PSAT. If you are a sophomore or junior who would like to take the test, you must register with the guidance staff next Monday through Friday. The cost is only $9.50. Checks need to be made out to River Ridge. Um, once again, uh, there's an announcement yesterday about Mike Strand's band, Mitchell, and Corey said they are playing today. Well, I'd like to make a correction in that announcement. Mitchell is playing tomorrow at Central Skate Park in Clearwater, and admission is $6.00. So go see Mitchell, it's gonna be a great show. And the girls varsity volleyball team is playing at Hudson High tonight. And tune in tomorrow when Miss Reddish's class will be giving you the news. We'll see you around. <laughs> yeah.